this is the start of um, 2020 football edition for me. You know, if you thought the first half bad was 2020, um, shit, we're in, we're in, a, we're in for a fucking, um, but first of all, I'm gonna say there's gonna be a lot of cussing in this video because I'm absolutely living right now. Um, um, we just lost the best receiver on the team by a long shot. Um, now this is, this is similar to the Mike Williams thing. Shows out his first two seasons, gets into his second, uh, junior season, out for the year. And we ended up making the national championship in 2015. Um, which... This this is this is gonna take a while to sink in, and I'm absolutely livid right now. So there's gonna be a lot of cussing. So if if you don't like cussing or you don't know cuss words and you're young, click off this video right now. I'm absolutely livid. I am never this mad. Um, I found the news out five minutes ago. I'm absolutely I'm I'm so heated right now. I'm so. Ugh! Look, there's nothing. Just, it's not Justin Ross' fault. Not like he was kicked off the team or anything. Nothing. It's just. Injuries are killers to teams. And look, it's, it's like, what's the big deal? It's not like it's Trevor Lawrence or ETM. Justin Ross is just as important as those guys. Th we're talking about our best receiver here. We don't know if Frank Ladson is going to ball out or, or Joseph and Goddard are going to ball out. We don't know that. Justin Ross was our best receiver, one of our best receivers in 2018. He was one of our best receivers in 2019. Not as good as 2018, but he was a he was he was he was pretty good in 2019. You know, he had some good plays. Um, he was our second option. He was supposed to have a big year this year and was going to be a first round pick. I do believe mm, he could leave, but I do believe he'll be back for the 2021 season. But he's going to be out for the season now. Amari Rodgers did come back uh, mid-season, but it it's pretty real. He's out for the season. This is this is just this is. I haven't made a video about cultural predictions, just because. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I got sunburned. I didn't really feel like it, and I was very um, sore. Uh, from the lake a few days ago, so I haven't really made a video. Although I have videos um, that I made, just haven't, just haven't, just haven't uploaded it. But they'll be uploaded. But I had to make this video immediately. Um, this is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just. I'm sinking it in right now. I'm sinking it in. You're not gonna see number eight on um, on the offensive end. Um, all of all, all, the whole year. You're not gonna see that guy, the whole year. Um, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Amara Rodgers is going to be our best receiver. Amara Rodgers is our best receiver. This is this is so similar to 2015. Receivers, you better step the fuck up. You better step up. You better step up. This is a huge loss like it's not even close like it's not even close we lose a stud we lose our best receiver this is an absolutely huge loss and usually we're a full-on healthy team comes to football is usually healthy most of the time but this injury is such a big loss now i don't know how latson's gonna do i don't know how nagata's gonna do i i assume they're gonna step up but um, somebody, some receiver is going to have to step up and play a damn good football season. I don't know who's going to be, but someone has to step up. I'm really wishing T. Higgins didn't leave. He's gone in Cincinnati with Burrow and the 2-14 and 14 Bengals. So he's gone. He's not coming back. Justin Ross is gone. Not coming back. Um, DeAndre Overton's gone. He's not coming back. He graduated. So... That's not happening. I mean, what's the three receivers going to be? Um, Amari Rogers, Joseph Ngata, and Frank Lazen, I'd say. Oh, my gosh. We just lost Justin Ross to the season. You know, letting it sink in. This sucks. All right. 
Because teams can fall off when losing weapons. So that's what I gotta say. Teams can fall off when they lose their weapons. We lost. We just lost two very big weapons, best two receivers for the past two years. Uh, one to the NFL, one to injury, and we also lost a good receiver in DeAndre Overton. Um, I don't. Will Sweeney's getting more playing time. Can't wait to see that. Um, I'm being sarcastic, by the way, uh, when I say that. But uh, this is just great. Um, I can't believe we just lost Justin Ross for the whole fucking season. I cannot believe we just lost him for the entire season. You won't be seeing him against Notre Dame. And honestly, I don't know what I don't I don't I don't know what the team's gonna look like uh, on offense with uh, passing. Um, I thought Trevor Lawrence would have his best year. Um, oh man. But there's still hope. There's still hope uh, that the receiving game can still be very solid. Um, I really hope Frank Latson and Justin Nagata are ready. I also hope EJ Williams is ready. I'm trying to think. I don't think Kendrick's going back to receiver, is he? I think he's sticking, staying at corner. Um... I, I'm 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 a, I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. Don't you guys dare even say that uh, Clemson's not gonna win the ACC. We're still winning the ACC. It's a uh, it's one player. It's one player doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, but this one hurts. <laughs> this one hurts. Uh, this one this one really hurts. I mean, you see, like, there's been some injuries that have hurt me. This one's probably number two. And you should know what number one is. Deshaun Watson for the for the season. It's number one. This is this is. Thank good. I don't really know how to close this video out. You probably clicked off the video by now. Saying good. At all. Justin Ross is playing really good. At the end of the season, sure he got shaken. He got hit a lot against Ohio State and shaken up. He had to get surgery out for the season. I was gonna say something to Ohio State, but I'm not gonna say it. But uh, this isn't good. But they are still the, the, we 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 reload, so we're gonna be fine. We're gonna miss Justin Ross, but we will be fine. There's your closing. Um, look, I did not know expecting the 2018 receiving class when we lost uh, Ray Ray McLeod, which and De uh, Deion King, which I they weren't. I wasn't thrilled by their performances at Clemson. But I thought Deion King finished with a horrible career, uh, dropping every pass against Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. But we saw T. Higgins um, from his freshman year, which he did not do it anything really. He had a few good catches, but that was it. Uh, from a sophomore year, he really just improved so much. And then we saw Justin Ross, a freshman, light up, and that gave us our, our one-two punch. We could have that. Amari Rogers reminds me of Artavis Scott. Artavis Scott, when Mike Williams got hurt, was was just unbelievable. He was catching everything, and Artavis Scott was a really good player. And then he went back in his place when Mike Williams got there. So this is what you're going to get. Uh, thank God Amari Rogers did not go pro. I didn't think he would. He I don't even know if he would have been drafted in the the top five rounds or I think better than six or seven round pick. But you're gonna have Amari Rogers, Frank Latson, and Justin Nagata at the, the three receivers. And um I really am trusting Latson and Nagata to uh step up their game. Um this one sucks. Um I um this is uh twenty twenty so well am I surprised? I guess not. Um can't wait to find out uh some more twenty twenty news uh, about how um I don't, what's next? I mean, what's next? Um, Brent Venables goes back to Oklahoma. What's next? What's next? I mean, 2020 just gets worse and worse for me every, every month. I mean, I'm honestly scared to go into July. June, happy June. Not for me. Shitty, shitty June for me. Um, 
I'm absolutely livid. And, um, yeah, um, that sucks. And, um, but it sucks, but we have to move on and we have to, um, we're not done. We're not dead at receiver. So, uh, we have too much depth at receiving, receiving core is too much, it's too deep, uh, for the future. We signed two high four-star commits in 2019 that are ready to go for their sophomore seasons, Frank Glatz and, and Joseph Nagata. And we also signed in, we also have, I have hope for freshman EJ Williams, also came from the same school uh, that Justin Ross did. So just because we lost Justin Ross does not mean we can still rip your ass apart in, in, uh, in the throwing game. So um, go Tigers. This is frustrating. Um, this video is way too long, but um, I'm very frustrated right now. But... Um, I'll get over it probably never in 2021 when he comes back assuming he we'll see if he goes pro but um this is not a good this is not a good day and I was having I was having a nice day I was really I was really having a nice day chillax in my summer and then this news pops up and uh yeah great um awesome but um don't worry Clemson Nation we're still gonna be here we lost Mike Williams wasn't a problem we lost Sammy Watkins for three games that was a problem in 2012 but we're way more deep and we're way better than we were in 2012. Absolutely. But um, losing losing the quarter, the best quarterback in Clemson history, one of the best, Deshaun Watson, to one of the worst quarterbacks in Clemson history, to Cole Stout, is two different things in losing a receiver. Because we have multiple receivers. And Joseph Nagata and Frank Latson, they're going to be ready to go. All right, this video is way too long. This is an absolutely devastating reaction. I cannot believe that uh, we, we lost... A top five receiver in the country and uh if you if you if you think otherwise you need to be tested with drugs justin ross is unbelievable top five receiver in the country without a question you cannot tell me that there's five other receivers better than justin ross i just i won't believe you and i'll walk out the door all right that's gonna do it for this pissed off reaction i'm very flustered right now but it also is 2020 so i don't know i didn't know what to expect um but yeah, Justin Ross is gone. But my Tiger Pride ain't going nowhere. We could lose Trevor Lawrence and ETN. I'm still a Clemson fan. Knock on wood. All right. Let's go do it for this um, just quick, devastating reaction to losing Justin Ross to the season. Yay! All right. This is bullshit.